This is a review for the iRobot Roomba S9 and S9 Plus. The S9 Plus comes with a self-empty dustbin and a clean base, while the S9 does not. Otherwise, the two robots are identical. The S9's airflow was measured at 26 CFM. Its suction was measured at 0.5 kPa. The S9 has two brush rolls instead of one, and both brush rolls extend almost along the full width of the vacuum. Despite its brush roll compartment having exceptionally high surface area, the S9 gets extremely good airflow on its highest power setting. However, airflow and suction do drop dramatically on more balanced power settings. The S9 also comes equipped with a single side brush that extends coverage not only towards the side of the vacuum, but also towards the front, which is important for cleaning edges and corners with its D-shaped design. With this design, the S9 picked up all debris types very well in our carpet stress test. Note the wide cleaning path provided by its long brush rolls and side brush. Also note how, just like all other robot vacuums we tested, it still relies on repeated movement over the same areas to clean up thoroughly in this test over time. Like other robot vacuums, the S9 has repeated movement over the same areas programmed into its regular cleaning cycle but it also comes equipped with a special mode called Dirt Detect Mode that is activated when it moves over a concentrated area of debris. The back and forth movement over the same areas and the blue LEDs on the top of the robot indicate that Dirt Detect Mode is activated. In our Carpet Deep Clean test, the S9 picked up nine grams of debris on default power after three passes over an area of carpet embedded with 30 grams of fine debris. It was able to pick up 10 grams in the same test on maximum power. In our hard floor stress test, the S9 once again picked up all debris types very well. Like all other robot vacuums we tested, it again relies on repeated movement over the same areas to clean up thoroughly in this test over time. The S9 performed exceptionally well cleaning edges. Its D-shaped design also allows it to clean corners better than most other robot vacuums we tested. The S9's terrific edge cleaning performance is made possible by three things, its pathing, its brush roll design, and its side brush placement. Note how the S9 paths very close to the edge here. Many other robot vacuums don't get nearly as close during this parallel movement down the edge. Second, recall how the S9's brush rolls extend almost along the full width of the vacuum. This design keeps the brush rolls and more importantly, the airflow through the brush roll compartment very close to the edge during the same parallel movement along the edge. Third, recall how the S9 side brush extends not only towards the side, but also towards the front of the robot. This design gives the side brush access to the edge during this head-on movement in the corner. Compare the S9's performance here to that of the Neato D7, for example, which has its side brush only extending towards the side of the robot, not towards the front. Note how the Neato is unable to properly clean in the same area in this test. The S9 did not perform well in our robot vacuum crevice test on default power, but it did perform very well on maximum power. On maximum power, it was one of the best performers in this test among all of the robot vacuums we've tested so far. In our human hair pickup test, the S9 picked up all the hair, but most of that hair wasn't pulled into its dustbin. 50 to 70% of the hair it picked up tangled around its brush rolls and had to be cleaned off manually though it was extremely easy to pull the hair off of its brush rolls because of their bristleless design. In our pet hair pickup test, the S9 picked up and collected all of the shorter pet hair used for this test in its dustbin. We tested the robot's cleaning efficiency and coverage in two different environments, an empty room and a cluttered room. The S9 uses a camera to navigate in very efficient row-by-row -row patterns. And in our empty room testing, we see this cleaning pattern demonstrated quite well. Note though how the robot fails to get coverage in the areas immediately surrounding the clean base. The S9's performance in our cluttered room testing was a bit of a mixed bag. In this first trial, in which it first maps the room, it bumps around certain obstacles much more than most other high-end mapping robots we tested. Note how it moves this circular container as it moves around it, and moves the chair frame considerably throughout the test. It still gets reasonably good coverage though in this test once again outside of the areas immediately surrounding the clean base. In the second trial, it again moves the chair frame as it tries to navigate around it, and this time misses a few spots in the room away from the clean base. 
In this third trial, it again moves the chair frame and gives a big bump to the rectangular container as it reverses direction. Movement of this particular obstacle was quite uncommon among all of the robot vacuums we tested. Next, we tested the robot's movement on the quiet clean setting and on custom power, still with automatic passes selected. We also tested it on the one pass setting and on the two pass setting. We saw most of the same issues we saw earlier, that is repeated bumping around certain obstacles and lack of coverage in certain areas in all of these trials as well. Other important specifications and test results we considered for this review are summarized here. Note especially that this is a full-fledged mapping robot that has the ability to map multiple floors of your home. And using the iRobot Companion app, you can label different parts of the generated map, set the robot to clean specific parts of the map, or set it to stay out of certain parts of the map. In the same chart, also note the S9's runtime, bin volume, and noise output, and how those specifications and test results compare to the average for all the robot vacuums we've tested so far. Lastly, note the robot's diameter and height. These dimensions make the S9 one of the smaller robot vacuums we've tested. Moving on to what we like and dislike about this vacuum, first let's talk about what we like. Unlike all other Roombas we've tested so far, the S9 offers multiple power settings, and so is able to get terrific airflow and suction despite its dual brush roll design when set to maximum power. It also picks up debris on both carpets and hard floors very well. It deep cleans carpet very well for a robot vacuum, and it cleans edges very well. Unlike most other robot vacuums we tested, it also does a great job cleaning corners. Its mapping features work very well, and using the app to control the robot is a great experience. We also really like the self-empty functionality of the S9+. Plus. Moving on to what we dislike about this vacuum, it definitely struggled a bit in the cluttered environment used for our coverage testing. It bumped into more obstacles more times and with greater force than most other mapping robot vacuums we tested. And it also didn't always get complete coverage in our tests. The S9 also has less runtime on a single charge than most other mapping robots on the market. And it's quite loud on its default power setting. It's also one of the most expensive robot vacuums on the market. In terms of general recommendations, the S9 is a better vacuum than any other robot vacuum we've tested so far. It has a ton of power with two brush rolls extending almost along the full width of the vacuum. It picks up debris extremely well, especially along edges and in corners. The problem is that the S9 just isn't a great robot vacuum. Most other high-end robot vacuums use LiDAR to navigate, which allows them to move with much greater agility and much more efficiently around a variety of different obstacles. The S9 uses a camera and because of it, its navigation is quite clunky in comparison. Competitors also have much better runtime, clean more quietly, and are usually considerably cheaper. The bottom line is this, if you're on a limited budget, it's definitely not worth trying to stretch yourself to buy the S9 or S9 Plus. And even if you're on an unlimited budget, the S9 and S9 Plus just aren't worth it. Instead, we recommend you save some money and go with a cheaper option that has close to the same pickup ability as the S9, but navigates much better. See the description of this video for a link to the latest updated list of all of the robot vacuums we do recommend, and thank you for watching.